And welcome back. This is Kotal for another War Rights episode. We have a TSA on this fine Friday. Hope everybody had a good week and ready for the weekend. And for the first map today, we have a Garland Stand. It is a 266 on the server count, 137 on the CSA versus 129 on the Union. So about even on those two teams. Uh, they are live at 43. Um, so I probably won't do the full intro. I'll just do kind of an abbreviated one. So it looks like on the Union we got MWB, Colonel Asmuth, NYV under Parker, and Lieutenant Tommy leading the 12th New Jersey. We've got EB under Major Hazard along with Lieutenant Patriot, along with uh, Mr. Ricks leading the 79th, 19th Indiana. We got uh, Mr. Joker and Mr. One Army. Let's see here. Then we've got Captain Hood leading the 42nd and Mr. Mattis on the guns. For the CSA, we have Colonel Knight leading the TB along with uh, Corporal Henley from the 4th West Virginia. Uh, let's see who else we got here. Looks like we got also got 7th Tennessee as well. We got HD under Colonel Helbrett and Mr. Hazard. I think this is the first time HD has been in the, this event for a while, so good to see them. Uh, then on, we also got HL under Cadet Alex. And 4th Georgia under Lieutenant Sauce. It looks like 2 US has also joined them under Lieutenant Rally Trooper. Let's see, we also have Fort Georgia in the mix here as well. Uh, then we got 1st VA led by Lieutenant Johnson and PB led by Colonel Legion. And looks like Tyndall Battery under uh, Captain Schultz as well for the uh, RD piece. Alright, we are already live at 43 for infantry, so we will see how the CSA sets up for their defense and how the Union sets up their attack. All right, so it looks like the CSA is going to wait pretty much their entire defense to this um, southern sector over here, kind of facing this approach um, on that side. The Union, um, so far, appears not to be. They're kind of waiting most of their forces over in this sector over here, kind of in the center of the map. We'll see if they go for a uh, big right hook or if they're going to go um, down the middle, or we'll see what they're thinking of doing. Just some settings here real quick. Got a little bit behind even though we're starting late. Looks like we got HD here in the center position with Kindle Bad Well, two USS. It's kind of as a uh, early warning system here on the rocks. The rest of the CSA organized out that way. They do have a couple scouts out here trying to uh, make contact with the enemy team. Here's Lieutenant Praetorian. See if he can find the uh, Union Army. It's like, uh, who's, who's the actor from uh, Gettysburg? What was the name? Character was an actor. <laughs> you move on the word of an actor? I can't do a Mark Sheen general, general Lee impression. And it looks like it's a full attack by the Union. The first force they'll run into is the poor 2 USS. And they're going to try to get a couple shots off and get out of town before the main attack happens. And then the next point here will be the HD. And they are heading down to try to intercept this Union force here. And they have a full force coming down. And it is a full send here. The CSA, though, is reacting. But it is a bloodbath early. Over this wall, holy shit. Now as a heads up, the uh, 10 second rule should be on uh, on at the moment. I actually didn't check before we started. And so far, the CSA has held. Although look at this, the CSA has outflanked the Union and they are trying to push them out. We'll see, the Union's trying to hold on strong, but the CSA has a flanking force that can cut off this respawn point for the Union. And this might be a critical vulnerability for the Union without having sufficient force here. So a nice move here by Cadet Alex in the HL has completely disrupted the respawn, the sustainment for the Union. And this element here is done. They will just get wiped out here in short order. 
And there we go. And the CSA was able to hold that charge without too much difficulty and has done substantial damage. A full half morale state to the Union team off of that attack. So well done by the CSA. They were able to react quickly, even though the attack did not come. I think I think they were expecting attack from this angle. Um, and I'm cheating a little bit. I was in their briefing, so I know they were expecting an attack maybe from this angle. But they were able to react very quickly to this attack on the center of the field and stuff the Union. And then a great maneuver by the HL to come around and cut off the logistics for the Union team and wipe them out. We do have 12 New Jersey. Lieutenant Tommy has a few guys left over here, but they, they're just going to be able to do a couple ping shots here against the uh, two USSS. Not really much else. First VA might be coming down to wipe them out. All right, so it looks like the Union has now shifted their strategy. They are going to attempt to attack on that side. Now, this time, CSA is a little bit more concentrated in the center here. In fact, they're sending some troops out to deal with the, uh, uh, is it 12th in Jersey? Yes, the 12th in Jersey here. You can hit your shot. Yo, you hit your shot. Now the Union attack, you can see how spread out this attack is, though. That is probably the biggest problem right now. This is a very long conger line. Look at look at how far back this conger line stretches. So this is not a concentrated attack by the Union team, but we'll see if they can still overcome the CSA or the CSA will be able to bring up reinforcements quick enough to deal with it. And speaking of it, here comes PB and Legion, along with HL and Alex, to do that very thing. The, the problem is this attack was so sprung out, so strung out that it's just melting against the CSA line. Watch All the TKs. Stay together. Oh, Stay together. Oh, that guy, out, boys. Come on, boys. Hold your right. Get behind him. Swing right. Swing right. Swing right. Swing right. Swing right. Swing right. Union, rally at the boulder. Union, rally at the boulder. Pull it back. Rally it. And they're still, it looks like they're going to try to, uh, Oldenhart's going to try to organize what's left. But, uh... They're kind of losing command and control here of these guys up front, though. And that will be the end of that. And there was one element that came out to the center here, and that is Hood. He might be on a flag retrieval mission, if I had to guess. Because this is not enough men for an actual attack, but they might be able to recover the flags, which will be crucial to do any other next attack, so... Uh, that attack did do some damage to the uh, CSA. They made up some of the difference there. We'll see if the Union can recover these four flags here, and this would be a big, uh, big gain here for the Union if they could see they can actually manage it. Oh, 
Yeah, first VA trying to chase him down. Got Kilroy covering him. And that was a successful flag retrieval operation. That is going to be pretty key. Um, enabling the Union to have a more effective attack on the next one, wherever they choose to go. Now, there's no steam chat, so it's much more difficult to coordinate these attacks now. Uh, we'll see what they do next here. You need to be a little bit more together on that last attack. CSA did a great job of uh, reacting to it. Again, they have very good interior lines, good reinforcement, mutual support. And, you know, it is working for them so far, but the Union is not out of this yet by any means. If they get a couple good attacks going, um, they could absolutely turn this battlefield around. My concern is they become disaggregated and they lose their opportunities. So we'll see if they can, you know, avoid that happening. Very tough without Steam Chat. Oh, right behind this tree. Yeah, there's a whole nother line coming in. It's a big line southeast. Take aim, take aim, take aim. Take aim. Fire! Load. Load. Right dress to call here. So it looks like first VA has moved down to support two USS down here. It looks like the Union is going to go with two separate prongs for this attack. So we've got EB over here on this far left side. Uh, might be trying to be a distraction force. Here we got MWB coming back online, heading down to the far right. So we'll see if they uh, do this attack over on this side this time. Traitor, traitor. And if EB can uh, maintain the attention of the CSA elements over here. They're doing a decent job so far. I'm not getting killed and kind of keeping some of the attention, although you can see reinforcements HL and 4th West Virginia are now kind of moving here as well. The Union's been observed, but they haven't really made a move yet, which is they're kind of killing a lot of time. But they are massing their forces. As long as people are getting in position and getting ready to go, that's not bad. I would try to hide mask your movements a little bit better. Uh, you don't want to let the enemy know what you're doing until... You know, the last moment. Steady. Steady. Fire! Fall back, Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. EB can uh, continue doing this, kind of, you know, catching fire, just, you know, doing these volleys and keeping the attention for a good amount of the CSA. That may allow this element here to launch an attack. We'll see. Again, this has taken the Union a very long time to get an attack going. But, uh, there we go. They're at a gauge now. Now you can see... You got TB. Knight has positioned himself as kind of this far back reserve force. So. And this attack is coming from multiple angles, but it did not go off together. And now here comes Knight. He's going to bring up the TB. And they are going to. Just massacre these guys coming up. This is a very widely dispersed attack across a broad front. We'll see if it works. So this attack failed. Let's check the center. The center's holding for now. But I think as soon as the uh, that is wrapped up, these guys are going to come in and slam on these guys. Now, once more, they've uh, the done with this option, the flags back here. They have not adjusted from the previous problem. Now, EB is starting to go in. If they put some pressure on the other side, that might make a difference, but I think it might be too late. Flags leave. Flags leave. Flags run. Flags run. Feast. Flags get out here. Flags get out here. Right side. Don't kill that officer. Okay. No. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Kill the officer, kill the officer. Somebody tell me where to stop running. I have a flag. I got the flag out. Like, like, there's just a guy. What are we hey, shooting? You're way in, in Archer. All right. There's guys. Yeah. All right, so another failed attack. Again, I think that was a very broad attack. It did not, was not concentrated. I, I couldn't discern a key objective for it. I couldn't see a main effort. And um, again, they put the logistics over here, but they didn't have really protection for it. Um, and it's this time they were able to get it out in time. But um, the Union, again, is, is now very spread out. You got 12th New Jersey over here. You got EB up there. They might be a little bit of a distraction, but it's less combat power you have to attack with. And the Union is down 10 men. I told you about the balance. I told you not to give too many. Eh, okay. They just start with one. 15 men. Would have been dead even. Who's that will guy and why are we shooting over there? The traitor. Uh, he has slaves, so we're gonna God. kill him. I already fired him. Remember, boys, oh, right. it's only a war crime. Hey, the first if we can a little bit. No, if it's only a war crime. It's only a war crime. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. Fall back, everybody. Fall back. 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 All right, so you're going to pull EB back a little bit. Now, Union is down about half a morale state. Uh, we'll see if they can get reorganized and do another attack. Again, I've got really nothing bad to say about the CSA. I think they're playing it exactly how they uh, should be playing it. Um, they're reacting fast enough. They are you know, in a mutually supporting positions. They're looking for openings and exploiting them. Um, so I've, I've really got... I know some people say, oh, you're not talking about you know this one side that much. Well, I mean, if you guys are doing the right thing... In my view, you know, I'll point it out, but then I'll move on. That might be now. You know, to the side that I might need a little bit more, you know, attention. Form it up! Form it up! Come on! Form it up! Down the line! Down the line! Come on! Down the line! Right there! Down the line! 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 Down we're gonna, All right, so now here we're going to attack by EB, but it is not supported. Here comes 19th Indiana. But again, it's it's not a concentrated charge. With only two elements going in, and now here comes MWB, a third element. This is what we call defeated in detail. You can't launch an attack one way. I mean, you can, but it's 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 for the purposes of this game. There's there's reasons you do it in, in real life. I could get into. You have successive waves, but um, in here it doesn't it, it doesn't work. You need to have a concentrated push in order to knock things off. The reason you do successive waves, you know, sometimes in other tactics, is you have one attack. Five. That culminates, and then you have a second You're echelon, dead. then a third echelon, um, to maintain contact with an enemy and to attrit them down, and then to have a force ready to exploit if you need to. And then after that first echelon hits and, and culminates, and when you say culminated, basically they've run out of offensive power. You know, they're tired. You know, it's you know they need to rest for a little bit. Then the next element takes oh, no, over, and that unit rests, and you kind of leapfrog, and you just go punch, 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 punch. And you build momentum that way. And you keep, but the key with that is you're keeping a single enemy element engaged the whole time, so they never get a chance to rest. Now, there's reasons this doesn't work in War of Rights, exactly, but, you know. So the respawn rates, and you're not really, you know, you're not actually physically getting tired. Playing the game, you know, for 40 minutes. Up and over to the right. I mean, you might be, but if you are, we. 
might have some problems. We might have to. Now, 42nd is up here. They do have a flag back in the rear run, but you can see the Union is so far behind on tickets now. And in fact, their retreat has now been cut off by the uh, first VA over here, by Mr. Johnson. So I, I don't see a happy ending here for Mr. Hood. It's friendlies. It's friendlies. All right. So now we've got another attack over here. But again, this is all disaggregated. It's not concentrated. And the CSA has time to reorganize and hit, but here comes an attack from the EB leading the way with Major Hazard. Moto Hart is with them with the 19th Indiana. They are facing off multiple units. Two US, HL, DB. That's that's a lot you're facing right now. And again, if you, the problem is with these shootouts is you're not actually attriting the enemy at a faster rate than you're getting attrited. You see the left side log has the most targets. Left, not log. Left, left side of the rock has the most targets. Yeah, right in the middle of the By the way, if you ask why I do the flag thing, is so I can see how many guys are getting killed, especially in the woods where the visibility is low. I know it doesn't look very cinematic. But it, it helps as a tactical tool. I do do cinematic views on occasion. Like the whole reenactment I did is cinematic. Cinematically. But um, for this purpose is here. Keep shooting, second. Check and ready, boys. Check and ready. Down the line. <laughs> What's up, brothers? Fired wheel, boys. South east, south into the woods. What's up, brother? This is my so got Tommy over here with the 12th in Jersey, kind of just skirmishing. Kind of in a nice little fight here with the two USSS. So there's a second US, and then there's two USSS. You know, not to confuse y'all. Alright, so it looks like the Union's pulling back. They now have taken losses at the 21-minute mark. TSA is well up on engaged. And, um... I, I, I don't see an option for the Union to win this right now. Not the way that the uh, CSA is playing and the way the Union is playing. We'll see if they can turn it around, but, uh... Taking volleys at us straight southeast. Keep up the fire, boys. Keep up the fire. Fire, Hazard, hazard. Yeah. If you see them charging across that road, I need you to swing in on their flank and fuck them up. That? What is that? What? You hear me, Hazard? Call your stay here. Call your stay here. Yeah. Hazard? Alright. Yeah. Alright, so we got a new move going on for the Union. Looks like they're heading towards the center. Here we got the NYV. Fire. Load. Oh, I wouldn't load here, guys. Guys, let's Check. dress a bit. We have a lot of people ready. Ready. They might get away with it, but... Hey, on my left of my shoulder. Hey, did you lose your CO? Hey, NCO, NCO, yeah. you need to lead your men. We're going yeah, whatever. Right. Go back to the tree. Right. Go back to the tree. Right. Right. The team is going right. right. Yes. We're going to make another one. Right. Right. Arms. Right. 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 All right, carry uh, shoulder. Right. I'm back. I'm back. Double carry. Oh, March. Oh, Double March. We're going right, Parker. Parker. That's fine. That's fine. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let's go. 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 Let's
And once more, the Union's a bit spread out here. Now, the, the difficulty is, so you need to mass, but you need to do so without giving away your position. So how do you do that? Well, you pick a rendezvous point that is still, you know, as far back as you dare. Like, you know, maybe back here. Okay, we're going to form back here. They might still observe you, but there's a good chance they won't. Um, especially if you can find, you know, some kind of concealment. Oh, face. But, um, oh, they're going in. Oh, oh, God. All right, well. Again, it's a disaggregated attack. It's only one element going forward. Um, the CSA is going to have time to react to it. Um, now, we do have multiple streams going in again, so we'll see. Maybe it will work. The CSA's got a nice flanking position up here on the 42nd, and this is, it's a wide flanked attack. There's no concentration to it. There's no objective that I can discern. Like, what, what is the objective? What is the main effort? What's the, uh, you know, subordinate effort? What's the supporting effort? Get ready to meet him, boys. Get me the boys. Now you might ask, what is a main effort? What is a supporting effort? What is a support? Well, a main effort is organized against your decisive point. Your decisive point, or whatever your main objective is, is what you're aiming to do. You know, whatever it is. Um, it doesn't have to be the end state, but it's it's what your objective is for the immediate operation. Um, your subordinate effort is a secondary objective that you might have. Something else that you're looking to do that will assist you, but it's not necessarily, it could be, but usually it's not necessarily tied to your um, main effort. Now your supporting effort is an objective that is meant to help you achieve your main effort. So if we want to go with like a Civil War example, um, if you think of Gettysburg, um, Yule on day three was supposed to demonstrate and did demonstrate on the uh, on the right flank. That was supposed to that was a subordinate effort to the main attack. That was meant it was you know it was okay we're gonna hit the other flank we're gonna draw off some fire, and that could work. Now you also had um, Jeb Stewart attack from the opposite side and try to fuck with the Union logistics. The intention behind that is a subordinate effort. I'm sorry, a supporting effort. It supports the main attack. And then the main attack on the decisive point was the center of the, you know, of um, Cemetery Ridge. Or Seminary Ridge. I always fucking screw those two up. Anyway, the center of the Union line. That was the main effort. That was the decisive point. Gentlemen, flag go out of bounds. Flag goes out of bounds. Flag goes out of bounds. Go out of bounds. Go out of bounds. Ollie B, left. And the Union has been knocked out once more. We do have another attack on this side, though, um, which might sneak in and work. It is the 42nd attack in the HD here. Oh, no. Fight them off, boys. Hold it now. Hold it now. No, the hey, look to, uh, uh, look to the north and get your position. Yeah, look to the north. Now, the Union no, has no, no. captured this uh, little alcove here. He's having trouble finding his way to it, though. Hey, look to the north. To your right, to your right. Down the right. Road. Hey, hey grab whatever Rambo cover you possibly can. Rambo on the flank. They're going right. ever. Oh. 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 And again, a good reaction by the CSA team. Was able to prevent that from becoming a problem. We got another very stringy attack here by the Union. They are down more than a morale state, 
14 minutes left. CSA is not even head taking losses. Now, this is a little bit better. Okay, pull back and mass up with the rest of the men. Kind of form, figure out what you're going to attack and where and how. Doesn't have to be a big discussion, but you know. This is a, still a very straggly line. Rally points are a very effective method. So, okay, we got killed. Okay, well, we're all going to meet up at this point, whatever that point is. All right, that's where we rally. Okay, you get everybody back together and figure out what your next move is. Again, you don't have communications except through runners, but in a map like this, it's hard to see. And you can get disaggregated quickly, so it's not a bad idea to have a rally point. Join the 19th. Right. Here comes another attack. This time for Georgia is Mr. Saucy. I'm sorry, Mr. Sauce, not Saucy. Sorry about that, brother. Looks like the union has succeeded. Are you alone? Now they have captured these rocks here. Let's see where the rest of the union is. They got one element here. They've got another element all the way on this right here, which is Hood and his guys. Again, the union's very uh, spread apart right now. First VA is chasing down. Some 19th Indiana guys. And the Union is now at breaking. So you see, is it taking losses here with 12 minutes? So there is still um, a road to victory available to the Union. It's, it's not an easy one, but it is still possible. So it looks like another flag retrieval operation here by the 42nd. They've been doing this quite often, and it's um, hasn't really made a big difference, but it's it's a good practice to have. Oh, two USS. I'm sorry, second US here. I think is a little bit uh, a little bit far out here. Yeah, you got this nice ambush here. But then you killed a couple guys. But if you get caught here by the 42nd, it's, friendlies, that's a lot friendlies, of tickets. Friendlies, friendlies, friendlies. They think we're friendlies. Just, just friendlies. Just friendlies. Friendlies. Firewheel, firewheel. No, we're friendlies. We're friendlies. We're friendlies. You're friendlies. Friendlies. shooting friendlies. You're shooting friendlies. Kill him. Kill him. Keep shooting them, boys. Keep shooting them. Hey, second um, uh, look, look, look around. Look behind us. Oh, oh no, I'm running. Hey, look right Patriot. 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 Can we run away? Yeah, see, that's why you don't want to do stuff like that. It's a lot of tickets you just lost as a defender. Wait, what? Go back to Germany. Check for friendly. Oh, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, we're good, we're good. What the fuck does go back to Germany mean? Like the German immigrants from the war? I guess. I don't know. Oh, that's fucking weird. Someone's going to explain oh, that one. Oh, goddammit, unless you want these goombas to kill us. I mean, there were a lot of German immigrants that were, you know, fighting for the Union, I guess, but it's kind of weird. Take our women, not anymore. Bomb the Russian king. Loaded. Is that farther, farther Ted? Reverse just right to hold him. Thank you. <laughs> Loaded. It's not, a, right. it's not the Chinese he's after. <laughs> Do you guys see them? I see them. Right no, it's not the Greeks he's after. Well? It's, it's the right Chinese. Loot, east, south, east. Whoa! Oh, God damn it! Slow down! Oh, the fuck down, man! Oh, fuck out. 
They're probably jacking the bot. Up on the stone wall, let's go. Where are we rallying? Where do we rally? Oh shit, I'm already in the flag. Alright, the CSA has now kind of set up a very uh, much more linear defense, a bit of an L shape. Throw the AC on real quick. Well, it's still a strong point on this position here, but uh, much more linear now. And the Union is launching another attack again. I guess it's it's pulling to this side, but what, what do you? It's still look how spread out this is. Like what what's the what's the point of concentration? What are you hitting? What are you trying to take? Those guys are gonna do nothing but die. Are you tying units down? Not really. You can say that's what I'm doing. It's like you're not really doing that. Keep shooting, guys. Keep shooting left oblique. Get ready to brace right. In the corner, north, 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 north. Friendlies, 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 friendlies. We're firing. We're firing. Shooting at us. Yeah, it's very cringe, guys. They're still there. They're still there. You have a Confederate flag behind you. It's funny for a second, guys. You know, you keep doing it. It's uh, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, never mind. It's good. It's fine. All are horny. Whoever said pull it back is correct. Sarn Fry is correct. You're not surviving here. You're not staying here. You need to leave. Uh, it's time to go, NYV. It is time to go. Why is it time to go? Well, because you're going to get killed in skirmishing and out of line. It's going to put you closer to final push, which is going to upset whatever timing you're going to try to have. You see these guys are getting picked off here. 3-3-5-5, You want to hang out. Now we got TB Knight here. He's going to try to intercept Mr. Hood. Who just Knight. Oh, that was beautiful. Right there, boys. Lock them up. Right there, boys. Lock them up. Back 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 up. And you might be able to force them into final push with this. So this, I, I, I do like this maneuver here by Mr. Knight and the TB. And in fact, I would adopt a forward defense by the entire CSA right now. I don't, I don't know who it is, but they just need to Is this the 42nd Pennsylvania? No! It was. It was. You killed all the 42nd. Now it's NYV. And 19th in the other. Flash. Flash. Two clicks. They said two clicks. <laughs> One click is answered by two clicks. If you don't hear it, hit the dirt. Open fire. I can't do John Wayne. One company. 
Let's rape them, boys! Fire and charge, boys. Fire and charge. Fire and charge. Tennessee, bitch, how's that feel? Tennessee, that good. Good day. Get out the field, good. Get out the field here, boy. Off the fence. Off the fence. Off the fence. I brought you something. As you can see, the CSA is losing a decent amount, but uh, they are getting the Union close to final push here. And I'd rather fight above here and fight on point. There's the final push, three minutes. That's going to panic the Union. They're going to lose more concentration. You can say, well, they might punch through. Yeah, they might. I don't think they will, though. Don't give the enemy time to uh, set up. Don't give them time to think. Don't give them time to coordinate. Keep them off balance. Final push. Shoot the flags. Shoot the flags. Shoot the flags. Oh, another final push. They, they can spawn on it. Life stands where they can't spawn. Got some blue boys straight from the top. Come over. Great. Get back here. Somebody grab that flag. There we go. Flag Somebody get that flag. Where is it? It's up. It's up. We got it. Oh, I didn't realize I was grabbing HD flag. Th those are friendlies behind that. Hey, gentlemen, gentlemen, fall down. back, fall back to the back. Right. Right. Let's go. Get ready for a counterattack, boys. Fight them from us. I would not move back. I'd stay right there and keep fighting. They just keep coming for me. Come on, out of your corner. These flags. You want to delay them as long as possible. Now, it's not going to matter because they're going to be able to mass up and they got to cross this open field, but uh, it's always better to fight the enemy forward off of the point of contention if you can. A lot of people say, oh, let's fall back and defend there. It makes sense if you don't know what direction they're coming from. Um, but if, you, if you're engaged with the enemy up here, just stay engaged with them. They're going to funnel towards you. They're going to move to the sound of gunfire. Oh, ow, stop stabbing me. Stop stabbing me. Just sucks you in. Get him, boys. Get him, boys. Good job. We got to get the point. We got to get the point. We got to get the point. Just nothing else matters. Just keep moving. Point. Go. Go to point. It's to our right. Fuck that off, sir. Right face, right face, right boys. Face. We're gonna beat them, boys. We're gonna beat them. Stay on Alex. Oh, ready to go, Yankees! Sunday, get him! 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 Outnumbered by 15. <sighs> Warned you about the balancing. I said, don't, you don't need to send over that many. HD will show up with more. At 133 versus 148. 15 man in balance at the end. <laughs> 